So in the second part of our work, we continuing at the study. We already did the geometry physics and the mesh, so we continue the study, move to the time dependent. That's the model border window time dependent and the steady. So in the settings window for time dependent, we locate the steady setting section. And from the time units list, you have to choose each. You have to choose each and in the times text field, you type the range from zero, one, and four times two. So we have to look for solution one in the steady toolbar to show the default solver. We have to locate that default solver under the steady or under the time dependent section. So how we find it is by right clicking on the steady two bar, then we show the default solver. So we're going to right click on it. Time dependent over at the last section, and you're gonna choose the stop condition. Stop condition. You're gonna add a stop condition. So under the stop expression table, we're gonna click on add. In the table, we're gonna enter stop expression. We are gonna input this stop expression in here. So there's an unknown. Right, was because we didn't type it well. So we're typing it well again and now everything is correct, correctly done. Now we locate the output as stop and we're gonna choose steps before at the add solution steps before and after stop. We're gonna play the warning checkbox. So the model is now ready to be solved. So we click compute to take some few minutes to solve. So by default, 
A plot of the electrolyte potential and the deformation is created. So we want to change the frame of the data edges to geometry to show the outline of the original that's the only form geometry in the figure. So at the electrolyte potential, the results I'm going to locate the plot settings and locate the frame list. We're going to choose geometry from the frame list. Under the plot settings. Going to locate you're going to locate the plot settings under it. You're going to locate the frame. I'm going to choose geometry. So under plot settings, locate the frame and we're going to choose geometry to be able to see the undeformed, the deformed. Click plot. We're going to see the deformed and non deformed edges. After this, we're going to plot a change in the average surface beta phase fraction with time. So we're going to add a 1D plot group. If we are around to see how it looks like, put on the body. So we add the one D plot group, sorry, the two D plot group, one D plot group, sorry. And for the one D for group, we expand the title and choose manual. Title type, we choose a manual. 
and in the type to area text section you're gonna type the surface better fit fraction with that. The change in surface beta fraction, feed fraction with time. And after we're going to locate the plot setting section and you're going to select to so after typing this. Surface beta phase fraction with time. We're going to locate the plot settings. And select the y axis checkbox. You're going to type the surface beta phase fraction in the And after this, you're going to go to the global one. So, okay. And you're going to type the expression at the wireless. If you locate the process and then select the wireless checkbox. The global. Table express Europe, right? The beta phase fraction, of which the unit is one. We expand the legends and we clash two legends checkbox. Now we rename. This and in the dialog box, type the surface beta phase fraction evolution. Shift surface beta phase fraction. Evolution you click on OK. So now we finally put the change in the average anode current density with time. We right click on it to add to the duplicate. In the setting window for one, the look at the title section. In the title section, we choose the change in average anode current density with time.
Now, we move to the So now, move to the where the label is changed to average anode current density A slash M After this, we locate the one deployed group uh, surface beta phase evolution one node and we click on the global one. And in the table, we're going to enter the following that's I alpha. Let's call face slash alpha. So we have this. Move to the global. Move to rename. And in the rename, we're going to type average anode current density evolution average anode current density evolution. And click OK. So finally, that brings us to. So that gives us all the plots that we need the average anode current evolution and the surface beta phase fraction evolution. And we have the electrolyte current density, we have the electrolyte potential, we have the electrode potential. Which is we have a cross sectional microstructure. So, brings us to the end, the final part of the second video that we've done. So, as I said earlier, if you don't watch the first part, can you watch the first one before you'll be able to understand the second part? We started from